I guess as a maths teacher, one of the key things is when you're teaching a concept or you're doing a task for a child to discover a topic, uh, and they kind of go, ah, and they get that, oh yeah, I get it now moment. But when that happens, it's, it's, it's really, really awesome moment. And you can tell the student really appreciates it as well when they actually get it. I think when you when you walk out of a when you walk out of a lesson and you kind of had a fantastic lesson and you just think, yeah, that's why I'm a teacher, that's a really, really great feeling. Go home feeling really special when that happens. So I didn't go straight into teaching. Uh, I did a few office jobs in London first. I found them kind of quite unfulfilling and I did have this kind of like nagging pull back towards teaching for those reasons and I retrained two years ago. I uh, went back to university um, and I actually found the kind of financial support at university really surprising even coming from working in the city. It would definitely be something that I would recommend to someone considering going into teaching. My favourite lesson that I've taught recently is a lesson about criminal penguins. So there's a clip from a David Attenborough series called Frozen Planet where there's a community of penguins building nests out of rocks uh, and some penguins steal from other, rock, uh, other nests instead of fetching their own. Uh, so it's a mathematical model about that community and the probability about whether it's better to be a criminal penguin or an honest penguin. Uh, I really, really enjoy teaching that lesson. I think the effect that a teacher can have on a student's life is, is very, very profound. They can have a huge influence over uh, students. I think a lot of people say, I can remember this teacher, my math teacher at school. And what you probably mean is not that you really enjoyed spending time with them or that you really enjoyed their lessons, but actually they had a real influence over your life. What you did is a consequence of being at school. And for me, that's true with my physics teacher. And I think it is for a lot of people as well. As a math teacher, I spend four or five hours a week with students. So you, you actually have a lot more influence than you think, even in your kind of mannerisms and your expectations. Uh, so I think it's certainly a, a profound influence and a, and a real responsibility as a teacher. The most important thing for me when recommending teaching to someone else is how fun it can be. Building the relationship with students and the staff, working with such um, passionate people about their subjects and the amount you can learn as a teacher as well. I think that kind of transcends all the things about being a teacher is enjoying learning uh, and trying to enjoy your job and have fun uh, and ultimately have a bit of sense of humour about what you do as well. I think that's that's the really key thing for me, like what kind of what keeps me going and I really enjoy that aspect. So that's what I would say to a kind of prospective trainee teacher. Um, it's incredibly, incredibly satisfying when it goes well. You do have to be resilient to when you don't have uh, fantastic lessons, you know, no teacher is going to be teaching perfect lessons, lesson after lesson after lesson, you have to manage your own resilience as well. Um, so you have to be very reflective about yourself and how you can get the best out of yourself and the, and the children as well. But mainly it's, it's, it's very, very satisfying. <laughs>